Alright everybody, welcome to March 17th of the Armchair Hockey League. We just saw the Golden Knights trounce the Florida Panthers. So let's go through here and sim some other games. We got Buffalo and Edmonton up next. Early on here, Edmund taking control of the game. And we got a late goal. So Edmonton will take the lead one to nothing with a end of the first period goal. Archibald scores on Subban to put it up two nothing. Power play for Buffalo, nothing doing there. So the second period will come to a close. 2-0 Edmonton. We go to the third. Quick goal there. And Dahleen scores for Buffalo to make it 3-1. So it was a quick goal by Edmonton first. Skinner scores, and it's a 3-2 game. So Buffalo right back in it. Getting to the five-minute mark of this third period. Can we get a late rush by Buffalo? No. So Edmonton does enough to win the game. They went 3-2. 39-30 in shots. We checked the three stars of the game. So gonna go through this. We get the goal summary right there. We get the shot summary just to, so people can see this, and then the face-off summary. So Buffalo pretty good on the face. It's 49 to 39. Pretty good job there. Uh, Cousins, oof, separated shoulder. That one is rough. That's a rough injury. Next up, we got Carolina and Toronto. This should be a good one. I believe 77 points. Carolina's trying to fight to keep their third spot in the Metropolitan. So let's see what we got in store for us. And so the first period ends with no score, pretty even in shots, 11 to 10. Teravainen scores on Campbell. Huh. Marner puts one home on Ranta, we're tied at one. Teravainen scores again, his second of the game, 2-2. Two -two. Marner scores, 2-2. Two -two. So Teravainen scores, Marner scores, Teravainen scores, Marner scores. And now Hull for Toronto, or Hall for Toronto, makes it 3-2. to two. So he breaks the tradition here in this game of Taravine and followed by Reiner, Marner. Marner. So we go to the third period. It's 3-2 Toronto. Couture scores the tie of the game to make it 3-3. Approaching the 10-minute mark. And Aho scores to make it 4-3 Carolina. Very back-and-forth game here. This was a fun one to watch. And we will get to the Oh no! Kasha scores with 13 seconds to play to put us into overtime. I really thought we were getting at the end there. So into the overtime we go, tied at four. Both teams get a point. Uh, no goal in the overtime. We go to a shootout and Toronto. Nylander, the only goal in the shootout. Toronto takes home the victory. And rough one for Carolina, but they get the point, which was important.
Good game by Nylander and Matthews. Three assists. Although they were on the ice for at least three goals for goals against. So you want a little bit better defense. Next up, we will have <coughs> Columbus against Washington. Now the Blue Jackets are trying to catch the Devils and also rise up in the Metropolitan. The Capitals trying to make a run <coughs> to try to catch the Rangers, but really just trying to fight off Carolina more so than anything. so far through the first. We will end that way. 9-4 to four in shots. So also not a lot of shots either for either side. Still not about a lot. Still not a lot of action as we're halfway through the game now. Approaching the under five minute mark of the second. And we finally get our goal. Curly. Or Curly. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. <laughs> Kareli uh, on Samsonov. Columbus is up 1 0. Kind of back to back power plays for Columbus, but they can't put the security blanket over the game. But we're approaching the end here, and that's it. Washington unable to put one behind the red tape. Columbus wins the game, one nothing. Good, solid performance by all, by the, both goalies. Check out the stats here. in Montreal. Check this out here. Dallas trying to fight off the Blues to stay in the uh, stay out of the wild card race. Montreal more of sellers at this point. So just trying to develop some young talent. We'll see what we got here. So, and Smith scores on Holtby pretty early, so it's one nothing Montreal. So now the debate for a rebuilding team like Montreal, for a team that's looking to sell, Caulfield scores on Holtby, it's two nothing Montreal. But Sagan scores on Allen to make it two to one. Is and as Kessel scores on Allen, ties it up at two. The argument, the the debate is. Do you want to be the worst team in the league? There's a very there's a big incentive to being the worst team in the league, and that is if you lose in the tournament, you get another chance. You get to play whoever wins the tournament. Qu two quick goals by Montreal from Marchment and Petrie. Petrie. So it's four to two Montreal. You know it's it's kind of tough that you don't want to be the second, third, fourth, fifth, as Marchman scores his second to make it 5-2, to two, because as Suzuki scores to make it 6-2. to two. You don't want to... You get an extra chance, and that extra chance could, could be... extra chance could be huge. Sagan scores on Allen to make it 6-3. to three. Hint scores on Allen to make it 6-4. to four. And Druin will score on Holpe to put the game away and make it 7-4. to four. So Montreal's going to win the game. 
They're going to rise up in the standings a little bit. You look at the three stars of the game here. The two newcomers, Marchment and Scandella. Solid performance. And Montreal's kind of in <coughs> in an interesting position because... They could make a push. You know, right now you look at this, they are they have sixty one points. The second wild card spot is seventy points. There's twenty one games left for a lot of teams, maybe a little bit less. Canadians have less. Uh, it's very unlikely as the teams in front of them all, all have a, at least a game in hand on them or more. But stranger things have happened. I still think it's very unlikely though. Here we get Detroit and Vancouver. Now Detroit made a push to get guys. They're trying to make a they're trying to make a run up, and it's a little bit harder with the Canadians winning. So they're going to need a win here to keep rising to try to get to that second wild card spot. There's a quick goal by Suter on Halak, so it's one nothing Detroit. Vancouver, I believe they've been struggling as of late. There's a goal by Eichel, and so Detroit's up 2 nothing. So the first period will end. 2 nothing lead for Detroit. See what Vancouver can do. Can they answer? Detroit, Valeno with a goal, makes it 3 nothing. So Detroit taking control of this game. Pretty even in shots, but they're finally getting some uh, solid goaltending performance, which has been very inconsistent this season. There's a goal by Peterson here in the third period, so it's 3-1 to one Detroit. And it might be too little too late. And so Detroit's going to take home the victory. 3 to 1. Check out the three stars of the game. Grice with a good performance.